We're going to talk about Anna Zakruska, who was born in 1925 in Torun, Poland. She was quite a heroic figure. Can you tell us about, about her and what inspired you to connect to her and what inspired you to paint her? What's interesting about this young woman is that she fought among Polish citizens against Nazis. She fought in the Warsaw Uprising and just represents other people who were also fighting the Nazis. She was a resistance fighter and because of that was murdered. So let's look at the painting, a remarkable portrait. Why did you put her in a boat? She ultimately was adrift in her own country. It had been taken over by a regime that went against her values. She's holding a bird. She's a, a medic. She's caretaking. She's nurturing. It's interesting, the boat is uh, adorned with flowers. Yes. Adrift in a boat with flowers on a pretty calm body of water. Right. So while there's turbulence all around, we see her almost in, in a white gown. Why, why a white dress? Well, she's a teenager. She's working in the resistance starting at about 16, 17 years old. She's murdered at 19 years old. She's in a white dress that symbolizes purity. What these young people witnessed, I'm sure robbed them of all possibility of being naive. Did you comment on this one? Let's say the secrets behind this yeah. uh, small composition. She cooperated with the underground in the Warsaw Ghetto, and her underground name was Hanka Biawa. Oh. Biawa means white, the white Hannah. I looked at what she did, this brave young woman, and as I always connect with the, the surrounding, the place, I took a song that was sung in the Warsaw Ghetto, uh. but also I combine it. What Lorraine did, she used the, we say in Hebrew, Pythagoras. Uh. What I did, I took a fifth and fourth the pure intervals yeah. it, and together with the uh, song of the Warsaw Ghetto. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the thing behind the secret behind this composition. I would explain uh, at why that those intervals um, are extremely uh, touching to me. And, quite a few people and that's why th they have a poignancy to them and that's a bittersweet quality and that has to do with a lot of a lot of these paintings because it, again to repeat that you have these beautiful idyllic fantasies of these ladies lives had they lived and with the underpinning of what happened to them I'm captured by details certain details mm -hmm. not the whole thing, yes. not everything. I take what uh, inspires me, and here the inspiration was the Warsaw Ghetto mm -hmm. and the pure intervals of the Pythagorean system. Do you sit down at a keyboard and look at the photograph and look at the painting and just play in terms of like like a, a, a piano piece that you later uh, add instruments to, or do you go instrument by instrument and voice by voice when you compose? Here and also in other uh, compositions, I made the research. I looked for what was sung in the Warsaw Ghetto, and I found this uh, song. One thing that I, I see when I gaze into this painting, you have uh, an allusion to Pythagoras at the top, and I'm wondering, does that have to do with her, the courier and sort of a celestial nature. I often use celestial maps in my paintings. I love 
just the artistry that they put into these objects that were utilitarian, a map. You didn't need to make it beautiful and decorative. It's a beautiful juxtaposition of practicality and artistry. And the, the water, it's so, it's so placid. Yeah, we know that her waters were not still. She was not living in a time of riding a gentle boat on a peaceful body of water with flowers. None of that. Her, there was nothing but turbulence and horror. I think about what it takes or what it would have taken for a young girl to stand up for her personal belief structure, to see these horrors arising in society all around her, and to take a stand, to put her life, literally put her life on the line and go all in for her beliefs.